Biology is a science of three dimensions. The first dimension is the study of all species across all levels of biological organization. The second dimension is the study of diversity of all species in biosphere. The third dimension is the history of all species. Biology, growing in all three dimensions, is progressing towards unification and will continue to do so. Let us explore the world of biology with our Nistral Portable and Microscale Lab. Now we are going to study the process of osmosis. Osmosis is a movement of solvent molecules from higher concentration solution to lower concentration solution through a semi-permeable membrane. And for this process, we need diluted HCl, two raw eggs, sugar solution and water. So let's start the process now. We will keep the two raw eggs in diluted HCl. And we will keep it aside for two days. So, eggshell reacts with diluted HCl, leaving semi-permeable membrane of the egg. Now, we will transfer these eggs into sugar solution and water. We will keep this aside for 4 hours. So, after 4 hours, we observe egg in sugar solution shrinks and egg in the water swells. So, this proves the process of osmosis. We exhale carbon dioxide during respiration. Now we are going to prove that. Here we need test tube filled with lime water, cork and glass straw. So now I am going to blow the air. So now we can clearly see that lime water turns milky. This shows the presence of carbon dioxide in exhaled air. Energy is released during respiration in plants. To prove this, we need calorimeter, thermometer and germinating seeds. Transfer germinating seeds into calorimeter. And close. Calorimeter acts as an insulator and it doesn't allow heat loss or heat gain. Now we will fix the thermometer into calorimeter and observe the temperature within equal intervals of time. We can clearly observe rising temperature so which proves that energy is released during respiration in plants. Now we study the compound microscope, its parts and their functions. This is base holds the body of microscope. This is mirror, concave on one side and plane on other side. This is diaphragm to control aperture for incoming light. This is condenser to focus light onto the slide. This is stage to keep the slide. These are clips to hold the slide in position. These are objective lenses of different magnifications inscribed on them. They are attached to the nose piece, which helps to change the lens. This is the draw tube, which allows the light to pass through. This is eyepiece, at the upper tip of the draw tube to observe the slide and arm, to hold the microscope. This is coarse adjustment knob to adjust the draw tube which helps the lens to focus. This is fine adjustment knob for fine focusing maximum clarity. We learnt compound microscope parts and their functions. Our food consists of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. These are all essential components for our growth. These components present in food substances can be tested easily through simple experiments. Now we will do a test for presence of starch. For that we need potato and iodine solution. So now let's test for presence of starch. Pour few drops of iodine solution 
on potato so now we can observe the change in color which proves that presence of starch in potato